Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we'll begin covering the security concepts of Microsoft 365, starting with the Zero Trust methodologies, or the Zero Trust model in particular. This is super important because it really lays the foundation of the way we should be thinking about all of the security that we're going to be doing within Microsoft 365, Azure, or in any cloud service provider, because the Zero Trust model is really what is being adopted today. And we'll talk about why that is. So the Zero Trust model operates on the principles of trust no one and verify everything. So nowadays, you can potentially encounter malicious actors and they're able to bypass conventional access controls. This demonstrates that traditional security measures are no longer sufficient. We need to come up with a new way to protect ourselves. And so that's where Microsoft has come up with their version of a zero trust model called the Microsoft Zero Trust Model. And this is based on three principles and six foundational pillars. So in the three principles, we have verify explicitly, least privileged access, and assume breach. For the six foundational foundational pillars, we have identities and endpoints. An easier way of thinking about endpoints is just thinking of them as devices. Then we have apps, data, infrastructure, and networks. And I would say that if you wanted to put an emphasis on anything, it's going to be identities, because when an identity attempts to access a resource, it must be verified with strong authentication and follow least privilege access principles. The zero trust model is not unique to Microsoft. GCP has its own zero trust model. AWS has its own zero trust model, but the one here is just going to really work for Microsoft. So let's go in more detail on the three principles that are in the Microsoft Zero Trust model. The first principle is verify explicitly. And so this always authenticates and authorizes based on all the available data points, including user identity, location, device, service, or workload, data classification, and anomalies. The next principle is least privileged access. So you limit user access with just in time and just enough access, risk-based adaptive policies, and data protection to protect both data and productivity. Then we have assume breach. So we need to minimize blast radius and access should be segmented by network, user, device, and application. We must also verify end-to-end -end encryption and use analytics to gain visibility, drive threat detection, and improve security. So that's Microsoft's version of the Zero Trust model and the three guiding principles.